Welcome to Ucanic. Today here in Ucanic we have a 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan and we're going to show you how to be able to replace your serpentine belt as well as your tensioner. Um, unless your serpentine belt just worn out, um, a lot of times you would want to replace tensioner and serpentine belt as well as with any idler pulleys um, at the same time. So on this one we have our belt, we have this, and there is one idler pulley up here in the middle. Um, and so you buy that all as one kit component a lot of times and just replace all of that at the same time. If you're just replacing the belt because for whatever reason the belt has worn out prematurely or a little bit under the time um, that it's been on there, like it's been on there a short period of time and you just decide you want to replace the belt or you can see cracks in the belt, then that is just fine too. So to start with, we have what our belt diagram looks like. And so whether you snap a picture or know what you how it is on your vehicle, but this is how the belt runs on this uh, 3.6 liter Pentastar motor that is in your uh, Dodge Grand Caravan, Chrysler Town and Country, and uh, a decent amount of the some Volkswagen van. But anyway, so we have our power steering pump here at the back, and idler pulley, alternator, AC compressor water pump, crankshaft, and the tensioner. Now, so the tensioner and the water pump, we have smooth sides that go around that, and then it's rib sides around the rest. So that's what we need to remember when we, once we take this off, to be able to put it back on in this orientation. And so let's uh, go ahead and show you how it's removed. Okay, so what you're gonna see here is we have our tensioner, and we have the release point right here. So you just need a 3 8 drive ratchet or a breaker bar to be able to release that tension. And this tension, we're going to go in the counterclockwise fashion to release that tension. And then when we release that tension, we'll be able to pull the belt off. It's best if you pull it off of the smooth pulleys, it comes off a lot easier. And then once that tension is off, now we'll be able to just let that um, tensioner go and then remove the rest of this belt out of the way okay so that's our old belt removed this one actually doesn't look too bad but we've got a new one and um, to release this tensioner or undo this tensioner we want to undo this bolt right here which is a size 16 millimeter All right, with that long bolt removed, and we'll be able to remove our, our tensioner to, for replacement of a new one. Now, this all comes off one unit. You don't take any of this apart. There's a very strong spring in here, and it can definitely um, hurt you. So, if you want, you can clean a little bit of this corrosion off, but um, when we put our new tensioner on, we put it on here. You're going to see this little groove here. You'll see on your tensioner, you have a little tab and that tab goes inside that groove. If you were replacing that idler pulley there, you would just be able to remove that bolt and put the new idler pulley in there and put the bolt back on. So with a uh, new tensioner, you would just go back in the reverse option. Like I said, there is this little tab that is right there for um, to be able to align in there. So we align that uh, tab in there Hold it into place there and install our long bolt. And the reason we want that tab to line up in there because that tab is what holds it so that your tension um, of your tensioner will be where it is uh, supposed to be. If you move it to the side and you miss that, mo that mark, then your tensioner won't give the proper tension that your belt needs. All right, so now we've got that tightened on and we are ready to put the new belt on. Take your new belt out of the package. You can line it up with, the, uh, with your old belt to make sure that everything is the same length. 
And now, if we remember our orientation, we need to have it go up around this power steering pulley with the bib sides around this tensioner pulley. Or not tensioner, that idler pulley up there. And we're going to come back up here to the alternator side. Go around that with the ribs. Then we have our power. We have our AC compressor to go around here. And then we're going to run it around the crankshaft and the tensioner pulley. And then we'll release the tension on the tensioner to be able to get it around the water pump. And a lot of times you, I mean, you want to pop this around the water pump or the smooth pulley makes it a lot easier to get it on. And especially with a new belt because it, it's not as stretched as the old one. All right, so that is our new belt installed. Release that tension. Of course, you double check feeling around and making sure that the ribs are inside the ribs of the pulleys themselves and that everything is aligned. And so that would be the replacement of your, how you'd replace your tensioner, as well as if you need to put a new serpentine belt on. We can see that this serpentine belt, of course, because it's brand new, the tensioner is over here now, instead of being uh, straight up and down, because this new belt is not stretched out as the old one happened to be. So thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.